Welcome back to the Caribou Data Science Show. It's Saturday evening, December the 5th. And the question is this, how do we calculate a Fibonacci sequence in R? Okay, but first, what is a Fibonacci sequence? Well, Fibonacci sequence, we read Rex here for chamber ensemble. That's interesting, okay. In mathematics, a Fibonacci number, commonly known as F with, with a little subscript in from a sequence called Fibonacci sequence. That is, each number is the sum of the previous two preceding numbers, starting from zero and one. Okay, great. So now, how do we how do we actually do that? Well, first thing we do is to come down here, run update, update your update your packages, then come over here, numbers package. Okay. Then we come back over here. And we do a and we do a, a, a man on or help on uh, then we load the library over here. Numbers. Load those libraries. We come down here. Okay. Down to index. Scroll down. Fibonacci. So it's either n, which returns a single value, or a sequence, which which, which returns the whole, the whole thing. So let's just do this. First, let's just do the Fibonacci itself. Okay. So what's the what's the what's the Fibonacci? Okay, so that's the that's the entire number one, two, five, and so forth. Now let's come back up here and do this. Okay, now we do this. Now, now we run it again. Now we now we get the entire Fibonacci sequence numbers. One, two, one, one, two, three, four, eight, thirteen, twenty-one, thirty-four, and so forth. All the way all the way down to here. All right. Okay. That's it. That's all you need to do to calculate a Fibonacci sequence. Uh, what, what's the what's the point? Uh, well, the first point is, before you do anything, before you write a line of code, first thing is don't do any more write, code writing than you have to. So in this, so so in this case, I went out and I searched for our Fibonacci. I scrolled down. Fibonacci to found function. This gives you a sequence using recursive R, but why write why write R code? If you got if you got a if you got a package with a function in it. Okay. Because it's part of it's part of the, the numbers package. Okay. And you can do things like the golden ratio here also, but we're not going to be concerned with that so much, okay? That's it. But you can see this one lot, you can do a lot with this one package. Now, my point is this, as I started to say, don't do any more code than you have to. And if you're looking for something very specific in, in statistics or mathematics, search for exactly what you want. I want to do Bayesian. Let's search for R Bayesian. R Bayesian analysis. Okay, so you got this induction R, but the point is this. 
don't write a you know don't write a uh, <laughs> don't write a program for uh, for Bayesian. Okay, there's a package out there for it. Okay, I guarantee you there's a package out there for it. All right. Don't write a lot. Don't you know why? Don't write a a, a program. If the pack, you know, the old saying is, "Don't reinvent the wheel." If there's already packages out there that do basic analysis with, look for them. Don't ask. Don't answer a question that your professor or boss your boss didn't answer. If your professor, if your if your if your professor says, "Calculate the Bayesian numbers for 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 fifty." He doesn't say write a program. He or she says, calculate the sequence of number for 50. Go out, grab, install the number package, run the Fibonacci command, and you're done. You know, Google and, and YouTube are your best friends when you're trying to learn our programming. Okay? So I hope this has been a, a, more of an encouragement to you, as a, to, to uh, prompt you to really go out and search for what you're really looking at on Google and YouTube. If you're looking for a low edge function, search for our low edge function, maybe our low edge packages. Okay? I know for a fact that uh, BaseR has a low edge function built in. But I also know you can use a geo and smooth function with ggplot2 to create that fitted curve. Okay, so you know why 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 go to trouble why, of using low as in your system to write to the, to create the fitted the fitted numbers when all you have to do is use geo and smooth. Again, it's it's the same same principle. You know, it's all about results. But the results you're looking for is a is a plot x y plot with a lowest fitted curve. Then use geo and smooth. Don't bother with don't even bother with the lowest function. Okay, so anyway. Uh, this is really good. I hope you found us. I hope you found us encouraging, and also prompts you to really go and look for answers on uh, with Google and YouTube. Okay, thanks so much for your time. Thanks so much for putting my little my my little warped sense of humor. And we'll catch you on the next report. Okay.